All right, so I'm gonna continue on with this little wall arcade tutorial. And like I said before, it's this is basically meant for your little homemade uh, arcade machines. You can use this on your desktop. Um, I use it on my desktop, but but it's basically meant for arcade machines. So by default, it's four by three, the image quality, right? It's a standard four by three image. And that's mainly because of the old arcades, the old standard, I guess, the CRT monitor, low resolution, four by three. You know what I mean? That's what it's meant for. But if you're using a modern day monitor that's widescreen, you can adjust the editor in the editor for a widescreen format. But when you play the ROM, it should be, you know, shrank back down to a four by three, which is fine. That's, that's how it's supposed to be, meant, that's how it's meant to be played. So. Anyways, let me minimize that for a second. So, let me uh, launch the editor real quick. Walkade, setup editor. So on, inside of here, you can actually set up a couple of little cool little things like the layout direct the layout directory. You can pick a different layout if you want. I right now I switch it to a uh, retro white. So if I launch Walkade, it should have this nice little like old school white looking thing right now it's white all right but see how it's real plain jane like this is where the whole uh editor comes into play where you can actually put your background image and, and reposition the the screenshots and all the other stuff too so anyways let me hit escape so first i want to add some music and you can do that really easily um what i did was i went to youtube i downloaded some videos and i converted them over with a uh, sound converter right but what I did was I looked for some 8-bit music, <laughs> like just basically modern music that's in the form of 8-bit. So it kind of goes with the whole game theme, I guess. So I got like Snoop Dogg and whatever. Just grab whatever music you want if you want to. Um, I just grabbed a couple songs to save time. Anyways, so we're going to put this music into our main directory. All right. Dot. Main. Oh, I'm sorry. Control H dot main dot m a m e all right grab the music throw it in there now let's uh, browse for it under music check the little box right here let's go ahead and look for it dot main <clears throat> and music there we go and you can adjust the volume as well i just maxed it out so you can be able to hear it at least all right, and there's also a section for movies. Um, I believe that's like a startup movie, but I can never get this to work. Um, I'm going to look into it. Maybe I can, uh, you know, figure it out. But anyways, so that's done. Let's go ahead and close that off. And, yeah, save, save, save the uh, changes. So this is the artwork I, I threw together, right? I went on the Internet. I grabbed some, uh, some Capcom artwork, you know what I mean? Um, Basically, you know, I just grabbed a bunch of images, I threw them all together, I made the background image blurry and the foreground image uh, clear. So I want the focus of the the the, uh, the editor, I mean, sorry, the uh, the front end to be on this artwork on the right side, but I want the left side to be my information, my uh, screenshots and um, ROM selection, right? That's all I really want. I, want. I just want it to be real simple, real plain. So anyways, so we're going to put this image uh, somewhere safe. We're going to put it in our walkade folder, our dot walkade. All right, control H dot walkade. All right, just, just throw in our layouts that we can find it very easily. All right, close that off. Let's go ahead and start our image editor. Walkade layout editor, I mean. All right, here we go. There's that, that classic white look already. So this is where you adjust um, from a 4x3 to a 16x9 or 16x10. Go up here, click on this, and right here, select size and width. So when you when you do this, uh, make sure your image that you're working with is already the same size as your monitor. That way it fits perfectly. All right? uh, the image I just I created is the same size as my monitor, so it matches up just right. So let's go and select that uh, image right now. It was in my layouts. Here it is right here, caps 2 open and there's my little image all right now close it off now all this stuff is movable right your artwork one game list remember in the previous tutorial how I how the artwork was labeled one two or three one was my snapshots I believe two was my uh, oh, what was two my flyers and later on I added three which was my mar marquises but I'm just gonna use my snapshots today so first thing I want to do is reposition this game list so 
click on this, this little button right here. Now let's go ahead and change the position and resize it. So you have to do it by volume. You can't you can drag it around, but it doesn't work. So uh, go back here, click on that, and let's go ahead and uh, change the position. Put it over here a little bit more. Let's um, shrink it down like so. That looks good already. Let's put it to the right a little bit more. And let's move it down. There we go, that looks good. Right about there. Maybe you can squish it down just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. All right, now for the artwork. So we go right here, select artwork one. Now let's move that in the same way. Move it over. Oh, actually you squished it down, sorry. <laughs> There we go. Move it over there. Make it somewhat the same size. Squish it down just a little bit. No, make it fat. Right about there. Okay, let's go ahead and squish it down a little bit. All right, now I want to move it up just a hair. Like so. That looks good to me. All right, so now that's done, I have all this leftover stuff. Game emulator name, game list, um, all this information down here. You, you can leave it there if you want, but you can actually remove it if you want to. So let's go to uh, list indicator. Just uncheck this where it says visible. And just go on through the list. You know, get rid of the stuff you don't want. So I don't want that. And get rid of that stuff. ROM name. I guess I could use that one, but I, I'll fix it later. Game okay, description. Get rid of that. And uh, emulator name. Okay, so it's all done. You know, it's real simple, real plain. Go and close it. Now file save there we go let's go and close it off and run walkade and there we go nice little simple plain little uh, front end of course I can add more to it if I wanted to if I wanted like you know put a little like a border around the uh, the game list I can you know it's really up to you and your taste to what you want to, what you want to achieve that's pretty cool and you can barely hear the music but it's there <laughs> anyways um, real easy to do so uh, that's it for today and I'll uh, see you guys later and uh, have fun